Folks, I'm live and alive, and I hope everyone's having a great one. This is the part of the broadcast where I tell you a little bit about my personal news, about what's going on in my life, what's happening in my life, what's, you know, what I'm doing. Um, this is where I give you updates on everything I did uh, in between the time frame where I pressed the stop streaming button and the start streaming button. I finally finished Heat. It took me like eight days, which was great. And then I watched Inside Man. I'm watching like a bunch of early 2000 and like 90s uh, movies right now, like crime movies, which is pretty good. Inside Man is great. Um, Heat was great too, obviously classic. You know, it's 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 pretty sick. The reason why I'm doing this is because, and I'm not watching One Piece for that reason, obviously, because I'm watching all this other shit, because my mom is here, right? And when I am spending time with her at night, I have to figure something out that like we can watch together. And we can't actually, you know, we can't sit there and watch One Piece because she doesn't appreciate pirates like that. You know what I mean? She's not, she doesn't have that pirate dog in her. Um, and she, understandably, as like a 60-year-old woman is like, what the fuck is this anime shit? So, you know, that's, that's how it works. So I can't be watching anime with my mom. So we figure uh, this is a good, you know, movies from her era are a uh, good comfortable middle ground for both of us you know what i mean because i'm an extreme centrist in that regard so i watched that so oh my god you're on time man i'm always on time i've been extra on time this week folks don't cap me don't don't you dare do that don't you cap me like that um this is the parasocialist hour okay this is where i tell you about what's going on in my life so i'll i'll admit i'll admit i've talked a big game about kaya I've talked a big game about how smart she is. I've talked about how, you know, how how intelligent she is. She's a she's not just a regular old dog. She's like she has her dog PhD, that sort of thing. And I'm wrong. I'm so fucking wrong, dude. I was so goddamn wrong. Bro, last night, um, you know, we were hanging out, whatever. She never pees inside the house, she never poops inside the house. It's awesome, right? And I'm feeling great. And then there is a there is a feeling of safety that starts taking over where you're like this this false this false notion of safety that like oh maybe she is a good girl maybe she's a different dog now maybe she learned like you know what i mean she's like about to hit the the she's about to hit month three she's about to complete her third month of being alive and it's like a lie okay it is just a total fucking lie i take her out as always before i crater at night i take her out and um try to get her to pee she doesn't and she had peed before, so I was like, all right, she's not going to pee. Put her in the crate, go to sleep. Randomly wake up at like 1 a.m. in the middle of the night, as I often do now, because it's a part of who I am, okay? I wake up at 1 a.m. thinking, uh, you know, it's fine. She doesn't need to pee any at all. And I start hearing drip, drip, drip. I start hearing water noises. And let me tell you, I'm not near a goddamn stream, you know what I mean? It's not raining outside. Oh no, that's right. Kaya fucking got up when I got up just to piss in her fucking crate. Yeah, all this designer got me drip drip is what she said. And just straight pissed in her fucking crate, dude. Absolutely ruining the streak, the hot streak that she was on. I take her outside. Now it's 1 a.m. and I have to fucking sit there and like clean her fucking crate with like anti-piss uh, spray. Okay? I have to clean her goddamn crate. She's outside in the balcony. I leave her out there for timeout because I like because when you punish a dog, when you pun <clears throat> when you punish a dog, <clears throat> you have to do it immediately, right? Because if she, <clears throat> luckily, if she had pissed and I was sleeping, I was fucked. I wouldn't be able to punish her. So I immediately take her outside, uh, put her in the fucking, uh, put her in the the uh, you know, balcony, and it's it's actually great. <clears throat> you don't punish a dog for pissing law. What? Yes, you are. What are you talking? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Yes, a dog should know that they are not supposed to be pissing in their fucking crate or inside of the house. Shut up. That doesn't mean you, like, beat the shit out of them, but it just means, like, you know, they should know when they're doing something wrong. So I take her outside, and, like, the thing is, uh, the balcony is actually great for her. Like, she could literally sleep out there if she wants to because it's cold, right? And this is a fucking mountain dog, and she wants the cold anyway. So I've actually legitimately contemplated on like trying to figure out if I should like, you know, let her out, like let her free roam at night or whatever when she gets old enough or um, or not do that. 
crate is too big if they're going to the bathroom in it no the crate is you're right about that i actually did make the crate size a little bit larger so she's more comfortable okay but this dog does not give a shit okay this dog does not give a shit she will piss and then lay in her piss anyway um so i i uh i put her in the balcony and i go back to sleep i'm like you know what i clean up i go back to sleep i'm like you know sleep out there have fun because the balcony is not like a fun environment it's like confined it's perfect it's like large she has her pee pad on there like not her pee pad but like she has the turf on there on the balcony so she can go pee and shit wherever she wants to and also she's it's cold right but of course she hates it she fucking hates that shit because she's not next to me so like then she starts crying and i'm like okay i'm not gonna let her in i'm not gonna let her in i'm not gonna let her in i can't cave to her crying right but she just kept crying for like an hour so then i put her at a, in a different balcony in the house far away and then she cried a little bit there too but actually that one was a major success she she stopped crying after a while so then when she stopped crying i brought her back in this is what i was doing from like 1 to 3 a.m bro got multiple balconies i don't know if you know this but like uh i have a house so yes i do have multiple balconies yeah i got a fucking estate dog you know how it is socialism when no balcony extra socialism when extra balcony dogs need positive reinforcement they don't work on punishment systems man i know dude i know i know that i know that but there are certain there are certain things you have to do with dogs okay like for example if your dog gets really if your dog gets really out of hand and is like getting the zoomies like there are first of all yeah they need to know the meaning of no they need to know the meaning of enough these are weapons in your arsenal uh, when you're training a dog for example a lot of dogs get really riled up when they're playing especially when they're puppies if they're getting really bitey if they're getting really nippy and you can't control them okay one thing you have to do is put them in timeout. like you have to put them in a confined space that's safe that they can't like chew but that's far away for like five minutes like if you don't do that if you don't do that they're never gonna fucking learn you know what i mean it's not just about like redirection because i do that it's not just about positive reinforcement which i do you also have to do sometimes like actual enforcement it's the same with kids yeah waiting till she's quiet to let her in is positive reinforcement thank you exactly that's what you do if she's crying you don't respond because you don't want to train them to think, oh, every time I bark, every time I bark, he's going to come and pay attention to me. So when I'm bored and I want to be let out of the crate for no reason because I want fun time, I'm just going to bark. That's why I always try to differentiate between is this a piss bark? Is this a shit bark? Or is this because is this uh, a bark simply because she's bored and wants to get out of the crate? Which is why, for example, you're not supposed to, for puppies, make piss time play time. Okay. For those of you who don't know, like uh, when I take Kaya out, uh, and this is a little bit difficult while I'm streaming, but when I take Kaya out to take a piss, I'm not letting uh, I, I'm not letting her play around too much because I don't want her to think like, oh, every time I bark, he's gonna let me outside and I can play with him and I can play by myself even if I want to. That's where you're you're supposed to just like let her out, let her piss, bring her back inside, manipulating the dog. Yes, it's called grooming, which is a basic component of like training your child grooming your child whichever way you want to put it and it's the same as training your dog this is a normal part of it don't behave like a conservative okay and and look at like normal things such as schooling and make it seem like it's something nefarious and evil yeah saying dogs don't work on punishment systems is just silly dog to dog interactions have punishment systems parent dogs will scruff their puppies when they misbehave yeah I literally fucking bark at her if she gets too out of hand. Yeah, I'm not going to do that right now because she's sleeping and I don't want to wake her up. But it's a, it's a normal part of, like, you know, teaching a puppy. You, you do that. Because uh, if she's not in a fucking litter with other dogs regularly, you, you sometimes need to do that. You just sometimes need to, like, recreate what a dog would do. Refuse dog bed, sleeps on the floor and said... Yeah, she's refusing the dog bed because the floor is colder. The floor is cooler. That's why. Look, how an experienced dog mother teaches her eight-week-old puppies to be calm. Watch. Like, they're going fucking crazy mode, okay? They're going bananas mode. Look at that.
Chatters look at this and go, wow, that's really messed up. <laughs> this mother, this mother is behaving. Chatters are like, uh, someone called child protection services because this mommy is being abusive. I literally do this to Kaya. I'm not even kidding. I do this exact same thing. I growl and do this exact same thing to Kaya. That mom is problematic. See? Look how, look how she fucking set them straight. Look at that. That's what Fiona does to Kaya, by the way. She's teaching her manners. Yeah, except Fiona can't fucking teach her manners. And, because you want to know why? Because Kaya doesn't give a fuck. She keeps barking at Fiona. Fiona stops growling at her. She just, like, avoids her. Does it work? Does Kai chill out? Oh yeah, 100%. When I growl at her and I bark, when I growl and bark at her, she absolutely chills the fuck out. Like 100%. Look how she cleared it out though. Look at, like, she made space. She cleared it out. Everybody's fucking cool. Everybody's calm. Everybody's chilling. Why, uh, why you growl at her? When she gets too nippy and she thinks that like, uh, when she gets too nippy and she thinks that she can like bite me or bite my mom, I have to, I have to keep her in check. Because, like, you guys have to understand, this bitch is 24 pounds now, okay? At, at like, three months. She is now, she has now officially hit three months. Like, by the end of this week, she will be officially fully uh, three months old. She's entering for her fourth month of existence. And she's already fucking 24 pounds. Like, and she's going to be a puppy for, you know, at least another year. You know what I mean? And during that process, uh, she's going to get really fucking big. If she has all of these bad habits that she continues with, uh, you know, it's going to actually be a problem. You feel me? If you do not, if you do not train your dog properly when she's a puppy, when they're more like in their more formative years, when it's like much easier to train them, by the way, they will be a, a, a much larger problem later down. And, you know, when they're when they're older, it's not good. Anyway.